Facebook. Okay, so I want to share with you guys. Sorry I'm traveling today. I had to go to Ohio to drop my dog off at my mom's house. Um, she's going to watch my puppy for me while my husband and I go to Texas for Valentine's Day. We're going to uh, Gateway Church. Um, they put on EXO marriage conferences, and they're part of the, um, I don't know if you guys watch Pastor Jimmy Evans, but he does Marriage Today, which is on Daystar. So my husband and I have been to like two of them already, and this is our third one, so we're kind of excited. But anyhow, off subject, but what I wanted to discuss is that I had another, I had a rapture dream. Not another, I had my first rupture dream, and I'm kind of excited about it. So, um, but this is kind of how the dream started. The dream started out, and I was shown just different scenes. I was shown um, homosexual people engaging in like homosexual acts, I saw hetero, heterosexual couples. Um, taking part in like fornication they weren't saved and then I saw um, another scene where I saw um, the grandparents had their their kids and their grandkids over to their house and they were like kind of just setting it up tents for their little kids to sleep in at night and um, and just different scenes like that. And then finally the scene changed and we were at my husband's mom's house for a cookout. And I want to say the cookout was probably, it looked like it was like the end of summer or early fall. Um, but we had the garage door open and we had tables um, set up in the garage and the food on the tables. And it was just just a normal day and we were kind of just enjoying each other's company and some of Jason's family kind of walked out of the garage and walked in the driveway and they were looking up at the sky and they were saying they started pointing up at the sky and they're like is that Jesus and I was still kind of in the garage so I had no clue what was going on so of course I kind of walked over to the entrance and I looked up to what I could see and all I could see was the hem of Jesus garment that's all I could see in his feet so then I stepped further out and I'm like oh my goodness I'm like it is Jesus and then all of a sudden if you guys I don't know I, I just got sucked up in the air if you guys ever gone to the bank and there's that canister that gets sucked up through the tube really fast. That's kind of how um, my body felt when I got sucked up. Like it would almost seem like that. It was just really fast and really quick. Um, and it was so weird too because I was so focused on Jason's family at first. And then once I saw Jesus, it was like I lost focus of everything else around me. And I remember looking at Jesus and I'm like, I love you so much. Like as I was, I was getting sucked up through the sky and I, my focus was only on him. And I just looked at him and said, I love you so much. So... Yeah, so then that was the end of the dream, and I thought it was really exciting because um, I've had other dreams, but not like a specific rapture dream, and I was just happy because I had been asking the Lord, um, you know, for a rapture dream, and I, I really feel like he's going to come soon. I really feel this with all my heart, with everything that's going on in our world right now. Um, but you know how the Bible says it'll be kind of as in the days of Noah and people will be eating and getting married and, um, you know, it'll just be like a normal day and, 
Um, it'll be as in the days of Noah, which we know, you know, about Sodom and Gomorrah and, um, you know, the sins that were, you know, it back in that day. So, um, yeah, that was kind of like the verse that came to mind after I woke up from the dream. Cause it's like, I always get Bible verses. Like as soon as I, you know, um, have a dream, it's like these Bible verses just, just start flooding my, my mind. So, kind of wanted to move into a little bit of an update. Someone um, had been watching my YouTube channel, and um, she had asked me how the foster care process was going. And, and I just wanted to let you know that Jay and I had our first home visit, and we have our second one at the end of the month. And then we have one more after that, and then we're gonna be able to accept our first little one. Um, we've decided on the ages of zero to five because that's kind of what God has laid on our hearts. Um, there's a huge need in our area because of the opioid addiction and stuff. Um, and it's pretty sad here because Another thing you're seeing a lot of, because I work in the hospital, is a lot of grandparents are actually taking care of their grandkids now because their children are hooked on drugs. And there's also just a lot of moms now, younger moms that are hooked on drugs that are having babies and they just, they can't take care of them. So... Even though there's a lot of foster homes in our area, um, they're, they're all filled. There's like no one to take these kids because we talked to our social worker um, who's helping us get our um, foster care license. And she said that they're just, there's a lot of homes, but they're just all filled and they don't have any room to put these kids. So, um, and I know I've gotten a couple of words of prophecy that I would be the mother, a mother to many, is what the prophecy was, the word that I got from the Lord. And that just didn't come from one person, it came from a couple, two people. So, um, and they didn't know each other, of course. So, but I'm excited and just a lot of things going on and then um, also my husband and I are getting ready to do a room addition so um, the house that we live in now is pretty tiny um, so we want to have a, a boys room where we can take boys in one room and then girls in the other we just have a girls room right now so um, our goal is to do the room addition so that we have enough room um, so we can foster both boys and girls. Right now, we'll only be able to do girls with the room that we have. So um, we had issues with the first builders um, backing out on the project because my husband and I, we wanted to use certain people for um, our heating and cooling. Um, you know, air conditioning and HVAC system. And then we wanted to use another vendor for the windows and they didn't like it because I think they wanted to make all the money on the project. So they didn't want us using um, our own vendors. So if you guys would just be in prayer for that for us, uh, we're meeting with a new contractor when my husband gets home. So, um, Hopefully we can start building soon. The loan process went through great. Um, no issues with that at all. And um, we met with a HUD consultant and he's good to go on his end. He came over and took pictures. So, um, so yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. God's doing some awesome things. And, you know, at the end of the day, it's like, Life is hard. It definitely throws us punches and we just have to stay, stay with the Lord and just trust him in everything. Trust that he 
orders our steps. And so sometimes it's when things don't work out as planned. Sometimes it's easy to, to, get, to, to get discouraged. But I've just decided I want God's plan for my life. So, you know, I was disappointed about these builders backing out at the last minute. But I was like, you know what, God, you have a better plan. So... So yeah, that's it. And I just wanted to keep you guys up to date with what was going on. Um, and I love you guys. Uh, and I'm going to get back to driving here. It's starting to snow again. We live in Indiana, but I'm in Ohio right now and they're, they're getting snow. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, I love you guys. Um, and let me know if you guys have had any rapture dreams lately. I loved hearing about people and their rapture dreams. I know my oldest brother also said he had one recently as well. And he said, Melissa, my dream was a little bit like yours, especially the way that you described as being kind of like sucked up. You know, he said that was kind of how it felt in his dreams. So, you know, God is good. Um, Let's just keep our eyes focused on Jesus and um, let's just keep serving him. All right. Okay. Have a great day, you guys. Bye.